Okay, so we have it right here, if you see mask. Um, but next thing to what I want to do, it's kind of make it blur. Actually, you know what? Let me delete this one inverter. We'll come back to this if we need it. I want to add blur first because we may just invert afterwards. So in the blur, we'll just take it and kind of making wider, but not as problem is it's become a little bit shallower. So for this one, we'll go use it equalizer. I want this used equalizer so I can bring the values a little bit higher on this. Okay, and we use it thousand, so that is look good. And you know what? Nice things if we revert that after, if we can have it very um, interesting effect, more natural. And as a lava going, let's use erosion on this. So we are add to our lava path in this case. Let's go open. And right here, let's switch again to channeled. We'll take erosion and pop up maybe 250. I think 160 may work around this area. You can play more around this, of course, and we'll go to add hardness. Let's pop up maybe around 70. Let's bring amount higher. And we also click right there and just bring around there. I'm just looking on this. And if we preview, you can see it will look actually not bad at all. Okay, so we can preview, you can see it's look very nice. Okay. So remember, this is will be reversed and will combine to add to our path. Um, let's add a little bit more details to this. And we can do this by passing through the our advanced Perlin noise. Let's go select and we'll select this as the mask for this Perlin noise. Okay. And we'll set probably mountains will fine. We'll just won't do too much on this one. 50 and you know what? Let's leave it as default. All what it does is just add a little bit extra noise for us as a Perlin right on an area. Okay. Um, also, before we're going to our advanced Perlin, okay, right there, let me move it a little bit up. So we need to figure out how to combine this. And actually, you know what? Let's um, bring equalizer to this. So I want to pop up the values we just drop a little bit. Okay, not too much, just um, slightly and you know what maybe this is too big so we'll just go we run there just a little bit and we can play more but i want actually to um add a little bit more to this one so we'll probably miss mix before we're going to advance perlin so it's kind of blend together uh, let's go to create combiner for this okay and we'll just go from here and we'll go from here as well inside our combiner. And in a combiner, right here, it's look actually nice path. We'll just go add. So we'll have a little bit more value to this. And we'll go all the way to the right. Okay, if we preview, you can see, okay, let's, it's render for a second. We have a nice path. And right here, we have it ways going our um, lava path. Notice one thing, it's going a little bit kind of wider and we can bring a little bit more. The reason what I want, I want indent. Again, remember black down, so it will have a little bit more indent, more effect will apply it from our path. And of course, if you need a little bit higher, we always can go and equalize just a little bit more. Okay, right here, we can take blur and take a little bit down. So that will bring stronger effect. So we can kind of modify this and see, but for now, let's leave it like this and we'll keep um, keep on going and see what's happening. Again, preview, you'll see right here, we have a slightly path, maybe not as visible. We will apply a little bit more in the future, but overall, this will provide a little bit indent inside the 
our lava so we can kind of manipulate it with this actually you know it helps if i connect so we can preview a bit better that way okay so right here you can slightly path again it's hardly visible and we'll probably tweak a little bit more to bring us out more of this okay so now we have this layout and on this layout i want um connect to my next node so advanced pearl okay let's go to this point and we'll go to generators and we'll create pearl so from this point if we're going and collect two advanced pearl you'll notice we have just a line so instead i want to to have um kind of canyon going so we'll go invert that value oops i don't want it right here want to snap to this one and there you go we have a nice canyon already kind of applied to this okay, let's go open and modify it um, maybe you know just add more details by bringing down let's go switch to the rigid so it's given us nice mountain points we'll leave it a little bit less details the elevation and you know what maybe steepness bring it down okay right here we have a very nice connections um, let's go to take this and connect to erosion so we'll go natural as well go from here and connect to erosion um, the couple things about erosion so let's modify and we'll look on this uh, we'll go to the channel let's switch this one uh, pop up maybe a little bit higher a bit of darkness so we'll just add a little bit more here enable and pop up so if we preview this um node you can see we have it nice but sometimes i don't want necessarily for the lava path to be clogged so we need open and we can do this by adding path to our mask so on that now when we have it, our mask done you can see we have it deeper going around this and that's what i wanted so because i want this edge a little bit deeper and less but we still have it nice erosions on the side so it give it good look to this area so let's continue in next tutorials to combine all those nodes together